Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be showing off, as you can see, some Minecraft today. Uh, I've been working on a project for a long time, many years, and I refer to it as Pedrotopia. This is my city that I've been building um, pretty much solo. I've had a little bit of help here and there, but for the most part, this has been all me, 100%. Um, includes clearing out the land, leveling it all out, and then building from, from there up. Um, a lot of the designs have been unique, uh, things that I've come up with myself. Some of them I have taken from some great builders that I found on YouTube, but for the most part, this has been my own project, my own baby from the beginning. It is far from done. I have a lot of stuff that I still want to build, um, and I work on it here and there. It's a long-term project. It's not something I'm looking to get done right away, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy the tour. Stick around. Uh, and I'll be showing you guys off and explaining a little bit about what it is and how I came up with the concept and why it's important to the city. All right, here we go. Here is another hotel that I have been working on. Um, I have the skeleton to it. This will maybe turn into the biggest hotel in the entire city. Um, as you can see, it's very ambitious. But it's got a cool design and it's got a lot of potential to be a huge hotel. And I think I'm going to be able to turn it into that. Right? This will even have pool access to it. Which will be on the roof. Um, here's a hotel that I just started working on. Um, this is brand new. Only a few stories high so far. The lobby on this one is complete. For the most part, I'm going to make some minor changes here and there, depending on what comes up in my mind. Pretty sweet. Here's another hotel. This one's a more unique build. I love this one. This looks clean. And here's another one of my favorite buildings right here. This is the Pogada. So I did say that I had two buildings that were 100% complete, but this is actually the third one. I had forgotten about this one. This building is very, very awesome because the detail on this is amazing. The landscaping, I had fun with the landscaping. I had so much room around it that I was like, I'm going to do some crazy landscaping and I built all this I just winged it wanted to see what I could do and I thought it just turned out amazing the interior on it as well is really cool right it's got the staircase that goes up to each floor and it's just very unique look at this oh my gosh man and it goes all the way up to the tippy tippy top. It even has a light feature on the top floor. I absolutely love this building. And what I will do also is I will show the city off at night so you can see some of the lighting that we've done and how it reflects in the nighttime. And last but not least, we have the airport. So this building is was fun to build. It's gigantic. It's amazing. It's an airport, right? Should be gigantic. Um, the interior on it is not complete yet. But what's an airport without a runway? So back here is the runway. Just awesome. See each terminal. And I decided to build it out on the water because then it eliminated me having to tear down um, tear down some of the hills, right, that I've had to tear down for the rest of the city. So then I could just build it out and uh, made it a lot easier that way. And that's so far what we have in the city. So I'll do a quick run through with the lights off. And that way you guys can see what the lighting looks like. All 
right, here we go. So first off, we'll take a look at the Pogada. This building really comes to life at night. With the lighting, the landscaping, the street lights around. Look at the look at the 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 beauty of it. The building, the lighting in the grass, how it just lights up the entire like this makes it all worth it right here. This hotel as well lights up a lot at night. Um, as I talked about the pillars, this is all a unique build, one of a kind, uh, with the lighting in the middle, so it really just pops them out. You can see them really easily that way. Um, another one of the buildings that I love at nighttime is the Freedom Tower. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look how much it lights up. So obviously you can see the little fountain in the middle has a ton of lights. But look at all the uh, lamps that I put down to light this thing up at night. Um, some of these have pretty basic lighting on it, like the unique architecture tower. I just put some glowstone. Um, the Chinese restaurant lights up at night too. Another one that lights up is the Sears Tower. So if you guys thought I had a lot of lamps with the Freedom Tower, look at this. You think the build itself was unique? Look at this. Look how much time and effort is put into lighting this up. And that's what makes it do this at night. You can see some of the other buildings lit up at night. The street lamps really give it a cool feel too. We have the unfinished hotel over here with cool lighting on it. Basic lighting here, but lights it up enough. We even have lighting in the pool. And then we'll head over to the bridge. Right, the bridge is very well lit up. As you can see from the top, the lighting is placed inside of the bridge, which keeps it clean, but also will light it up. City Hall. Clock towers lit up. Windows itself are lit up. Gas station is very lit up. And then my favorite, as we talked about before, oh, the courthouse lit up at night. All right, guys, that is the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can post that in the comments, guys. Anything that you'd like to see built inside the city, you can post that as well. I'm always looking for fresh ideas. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like. Hit the subscribe button as well, guys. Turn on notifications. Come back. See some more videos, more content for you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh my god, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. It's probably an unhealthy amount. Because I've played, obviously, survival, creative on this world. Um, there's a lot. Of, 
in this world. Do you guys want to see something else in this world that I've built? That's not in the city at all. It's completely separate. 